So what inspired me to start something like Tonic actually goes back a long way. Um, when I was a kid and I was learning the instrument, learning the violin, and all my friends were learning the violin too. It's just all, they were all my friends. And then suddenly one by one, they kind of just quit and left. And I felt like I was losing a lot of friends. And that was the beginning. That was the beginning when I started going into finding out why, what's going on? Like what's, why is this happening? The love of music it should be enough, right? Like if I love a sport, if I love basketball, I'm just gonna say I love basketball and that's the end to it, you know? It shouldn't be this thing where I feel bad for not being as good as a professional basketball player. I think it's kind of ridiculous. So it was sort of one thing led to the next, which made me realize that, hey, I, th I wanna try and like, maybe we should together with a lot of, a lot of help from a lot of people, uh, try to create this safe space where people can come together and just enjoy music. So I think tonic is really for people of all levels who play music um, and who practice, because practicing is something that is really lonely when you're doing it by yourself. I mean, they say that there's like 10,000 hours to mastery, right? And even if you're not trying to be a master, I think it's still pretty lonely to practice by yourself for a thousand hours. Um, it's just you and the music, which often can be inspiring, but oftentimes it's really just you trying to repeat something to make it just that little 1% better at the end of the day. And I think when that happens, when you finally get that passage, when you finally make the shot, when you look around and no one's there, or when you look around and someone's there, aha, that's like this magic moment, right? That's like, that's what tonic is. And people open practice rooms, observe others, like just, just are there along their journey. And then when you look around and there's someone there, it's like the most magical moment. So that's really what I mean by feedback. Like it's, it's the feedback between, the connection between people that makes it so special and what makes, I think, sharing artistry have its purpose. So some of the biggest milestones for you know building all of this stuff together on Tonic uh, was actually my personal growth. Of course, there's other things like we've we've launched publicly, and so anyone who wants to download join Tonic can. But a lot of it for me was just in the beginning. I felt like I'm this musician, right? Like, what am I doing here? What am I trying to? By what right do I have in terms of like trying to just? build an app, right? This is something that's very technical. Sure, I do a little bit of social media, but the, the, the rest of it, like, how can it, how can it work? And so a lot of it was just me trying to learn all these things, learn just the jargon as well. And then I started to realize as I learned more and more that it's much like music. It's really, you, you grow confident in uh, practicing. It's, uh, you gotta practice a lot, you perform a lot, and then when things just, you, you work on it step by step, bit by bit, and it, and it starts to get better. It starts to sound better. And the product improves, the music improves, everything comes together, and all of the stress, which is something also very similar to what we musicians face you know, during rehearsals and, and, and practicing uh, before the concert, it's, it, it goes away. It goes away when it's finally there. Um, with proper preparation. So, so that's something that those little steps of personal growth are what I really measure my personal milestones with. Like it's also been really important for me to hear our users talk about their journey as well and what how Tonic has helped them. Like for example, I had so many users, one user the other day tell me that Tonic helped her out of her depression. I mean, like that's something that's, I, like I was just shocked when I heard it, and she said, "Yeah, through through tonic and the community, and me being able to just play the instrument again, that was something that uh, just helped me immensely." And from from the, where she didn't realize it until she was just so much happier. So I feel like I mean, it's 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 milestones can be like, oh, I want to get you know a million users or whatever, but I think. Hearing moments like that, that's a pretty special milestone um, for me personally. Oh yeah, users can uh, definitely listen to me practicing. I, I only practice on tonic, so it's something that um, I've, I've had to learn uh, that practicing is, is not performing, but 
rather it's something sharing. It's like we're, we're just we're just trying new ideas. We're we're trying things. It's like you getting to uh, perform something, but then having a second chance to perform it again, and then it sort of, sort of blurs that line between practice and performance, which I think is really cool. So yes, definitely inviting you all to my practice room and also the practice rooms of a lot of other uh, great people out there because it's not about being the best performer, it's about being the best practicer. <laughs>